Hey, hey! We're back again with Fong Grand Star here. Yeah? Let's have a more quick on a, on a second, like, follow up stream. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we're already really gonna start where we left off in the story with the proper start of the wolf hunt. That's what I would call it at least. Since we were going after them, trying to defend the, the ports. A short rest and time for the next fight. Oh, Starska, uh, Starska Faven. Our another party is up on that sky splitter up there. Where who is going to? So <laughs> Dempsey is following up on Charger. And well, I or I mean, I got a katana. I gotta use it. <laughs> what else am I supposed to do with a katana? How does this one work? All together. Yeah. Okay. That did a lot of damage. <laughs> okay. That did a lot of damage. A short respite, then time for the next fight. Um, okay. Let's see. All together. Better cut her off. <laughs> Fangs and claws got dumped. Never hesitate. This is silly. This is really silly. The fuck? Short respite, then time for the next fight. Oh, there was only one more. <laughs> Man, we can fight it more normally. The dice have bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Watch your head. Show me what you can do. I'll give you five seconds. Fearless knows not fear. Too slow. They're pretty weak, though, too. And we're just sweeping them. A short respite, then time for the next fight. Are you else to fight you? We have cleared out the enemies in Starskip Haven. But it seems that there are fierce battles being waged at both the Exalting Sanctum and Arum Alley. I will prepare a Starskip. We cannot allow the fighting to continue. This is now a race against time to stop this farce that Hule has created. I know Zhao Cho always wants me to know my limits and not get carried away, but... Now is the time to bring this to a swift end. Um, okay. Sounds like she's planning Contact something. Contact the Exalting Sanctum. Tell them if they see a light in the sky, all units are to retreat immediately. Madam Yukong, lend me your bow. Okay. I guess she can't just do that. Okay. <laughs> I guess she can't just do that. All right. There's time to end our rally. Um. Face off sky bomb and arrows, accurately find their mark in the Borazan. Oh, what a mess. 
I just knew it would end up this way. Every time she hits the battlefield, she makes a mess like this. Mm -mm. She didn't even leave a single survivor to get intel from. One of these men must have known about Hule and Zhao Cho's whereabouts. That was one of Fei Shao's arrows. Who knows what she used as an arrow to fire all the way over here? I do want to know about. I do want to know about that myself. And I guess she kind of was out of line. I wouldn't say always, but often would be fair. As soon as the heat of battle gets to her, she sees every place as a battlefield where she can unleash hell. Take a good look around. If you can find one or two Borisin that aren't dead yet, let me know. I'm I don't just... care how tight their lips are sealed. I always have a way to crack them open and get the information we need. I'm just like find it, find it interesting that there's like there's been like no collateral damage from it. Like it really just only wiped the bars in but didn't like do any damage on like buildings and such. What a terrifying attack. Who could have imagined that such astonishing strength would lie in the hands of a Foxian war slave? So decisive. So brutal. She is more like a descendant of Duran than we who have fallen to our current state. No wonder the warhead has his eyes on her. Hmm. I remember you, Mog Talk. You are harder to kill than a cockroach. <laughs> but the Here's fact that you though. have willingly shown yourself saves us some time. It is not too late for you to surrender. Tell me, where are Hule and Zhao Cho? <laughs> Save your energy, Yao Qing monkey. If there is one principle that we beasts know well, it is that we might have to break off an arm to break free from a cage. Today, I will be that arm. All right. I lived as a hunter for many years. Yet I have only followed the warhead for this recent, brief period. However, his existence has brought light back to our once blind eyes. Like the moon of Erdantia. He has shown me the way. The descendants of Duran have abandoned the Wolf's Creed. In order to ensure our survival, we took solace in the shadows and fed on one another. We were no longer wolves. We were no more than rats, living a dirty and pathetic life. I mean, I agree with that. Thanks to the gift granted to us by Lord Hule, I have shared his vision and his blood. The descendants of Duran should live for the victory of the pack, and they should die for it as well. Come, the Ching man. Show me your fangs. We will fight to the death. Puh. How honorable, you mangy dog. But you seem to have misunderstood. 
There will be no fair one-on-one -on -one duel. Let's see how tough you are once we've put you down. that this is nothing more than your dying fantasy! Fight me! A straight like this will send me running! Just let's go down. You'll pay for this. Lend me your strength. Fangs and claws got dull. The fear which knows not fear. Boris and resurgence shall come. That was easy. It was just even. No matter how heroic again. your sacrifice, there is no honor in your battles or deaths, Borison. It seems that Mock Talk got what he wished for. Interesting. Hule, your declaration of war is over. From now on, no matter where you run, General Feishao will catch you and send you to the same fate as Mock Talk. Stand down, Watsa. I am here, Hule. What do you wish to say? The Merlin's Claw. <laughs> Though we have never met on the battlefield, I have heard many interesting things about you from both my men and your healer. <sighs> the people of the Sinjo must be quite brave. To allow a foxy and war slave with boars and blood to ascend to the position of general. I mean, I just didn't, do not quite know how, uh, like, to what extent uh, Fayshaw was affected by all of it. Has no one ever questioned that lineage of yours? Or could it be? That your grand achievements were enough to convince everyone to keep their lips sealed. Claiming to have family ties with the enemy sounds to me like an attempt at asking for mercy. Hule, are you begging me for mercy? <laughs> I see that it is not only the ruthless blood of a wolf that courses through your veins, but also the cunning blood of a fox. When you think about it, this was a gift from the Borson. Anything that we gift, we are also free to reclaim. That you wish, but you will never get it back. Merlin's Claw. I shall extend a final invitation to you. I will be waiting for you on the Sky Splitter. Before you arrive, I will slaughter all in sight. Allowing the crimson moon that has fallen dim for over 700 years to once more come to life. I will illuminate this ship with the sheen of blood and show everyone just how weak and powerless the Xiangzhou is. Then I will pilot this ship through every blockade and barrier you have prepared and begin 
my journey home. This ship shall be the flagship for the Borison resurgence. Yeah, I kind of done that. Before I finish these tasks of mine, you have a chance to stop me or die at my hands. <laughs> this is the path that I have prepared for you. I accept your challenge, Hule. Because the very moment you stepped aboard the Sky Splitter, you stepped onto your path to ruin. Are we getting back to the Sky Splitter gang? Yes, we are. The war dance is about to commence, Sky Splitter. I'm entrusting you not only with the honor of the ring. But also with the security of the Sky Splitter. That's easy for my grandfather to say. But this mission doesn't seem so simple anymore. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> the first round of the tournament is about to begin. I wonder how Yen Qing and the others are doing. According to the plan, I should seek out the Cloud Knight soldiers aboard the Sky Splitter and see if they've discovered anything. Maybe I should take a moment to meet with March before the tournament starts. March is in the contestants' lounge right now. Oh, I wonder how her preparations are coming along. I wonder where she'll be useful uh, to go with her. What did she have again? Do I know? Yeah, she has like this parrying stuff. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if mine is stronger than uh, than the story one. I'm just gonna use my already. Yeah, I'm gonna use a hero hero. Um, March, it's me, Yunli. Are you okay? What's she doing? Ugh, she's still a nervous wreck. <laughs> you still seem nervous. I wasn't this nervous before. It's just being alone in this lounge, I can't stop thinking about everything. I mean, not only are we taking part in the war dance, but we have such an important mission to carry out as well. March, calm down don't worry about your mission you have me here too right i know my grandfather said that you must represent the lawfu as the ringmaster but don't let that intimidate you ask yourself you are a nameless of the astral express you have always been free to come and go as you please so why did you board the Sky Splitter with me when my grandfather gave us this mission? Why? Because I also want the war dance to go smoothly. Yeah, so being nervous about it. <laughs> For us nameless, even though we're just visitors at every stop, it was here that I met my two masters and made many new friends. I want the war dance to go ahead without any problems. For everyone's sake. Good answer. The tournament is about to begin, so I must go carry out the mission that Grandpa gave me. March, may your blade be sharp and your victory glorious. Thank you, Master Yun Lee. According to Grandpa's plan, I should seek out the Cloud Knight soldiers aboard the Sky Splitter and see if there have been any new developments. I just realized she, uh, she's actually quite good at 
getting uh, Mojo calm down. Oh. All right. Okay. Uh. Are they all connected together somehow? I know there's a treasure chest <laughs> Another project over the finish line. According to Grandpa's plan. <laughs> okay, I'm not allowed to explore much. Is that you, Miss Yunli? If there's anything that I can help you with, please let me know. The Cloud Knights are all in position, following General Hua Yen's orders. Very good. Although, there is one thing I want to confirm with you. Unfortunately, we don't have any means to distinguish between Borisin and Foxians. Sad. However, you can rest assured that the Clown Knights are working hard to investigate the source of the forged identities. All Cloud Knights on the Sky Splitter have their own responsibilities and wouldn't dare neglect their posts. March 7th and I could already tell. It's clear that every Cloud Knight soldier we've met on the Sky Splitter is an elite warrior. Uh, your timing is perfect, Miss Yun Lee. We actually just received an emergency boarding request. An emergency boarding request? It wasn't on the Sky Splitter Starskiff registry, but all the documentation checked out. Who would be boarding the ship at this time? Where are they? I'll go check it out. The Star Skiff is using the contestant docking bay. Would you like me to lead the way? No need. You have your own duties to take care of. I will be fine by myself. I have to check on this immediately. I wouldn't not question it, knowing the current situation. Routine inspection! All passengers, please prepare for an inspection! So this is the suspicious Starskiff. Where did the passengers go? I'm going to count down from ten. If you do not come out, I will destroy the ship. <laughs> ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Time is running out. Three... Two, one! Wait a second! It's me! <laughs> it's just a routine inspection. You weren't actually going to blow up the ship, were you? Is that also some kind of Zhuming custom? Even though the Borison can disguise themselves, they can't turn into someone as short as me. Put your sword away. <laughs> Actually, his height is safe for him. Didn't little Yenjin <laughs> claim he was going to give up being the ringmaster and go on the hunt instead? Help shoulder the general's burdens? The Borison on the ground suddenly launched an attack. General Fei Shao was concerned that this was all a diversion by Hule, so I requested to come to the Sky Splitter and provide support. I can't believe you ended up back here on the Sky Splitter after running around all over the place. But you're too late to enter the tournament now. Following Grandpa's plan, our disciple March is taking your place as ringmaster. Aren't you proud of her? 
When I first heard the news, I was definitely proud, but also a little concerned. Hmm, she would manage. More manpower is always a good thing, since the sky splitter is so large. Oh, and by the way, you should know that. What's happening? Does it feel like the sky splitter has slowed down? Could could it be? Come with me. We need to check the engine room. It's the heart of the ship, so we need to prioritize its safety. Okay. They're good at hiding chests in plain sight. Let's go. Wait, there's a second one? Wait, where are you leading me? Uh... Lambi? <laughs> Why did it get triggered by this one out of... Uh, Hard work pays off. Oh, okay. You can't go that way, Nambi. So chill out. <laughs> kind of weird that it detected that one treasure chest out of all, but okay. the box the cloud knights they're over here and you should be lying alongside them Nah, we won't. Don't worry, children. There's plenty of space to hide your bodies over here. <sighs> Even though I truly hoped that the war dance would go ahead uninterrupted, and that I was worrying for no reason. Now that these guys have finally shown up, it's a huge weight off my mind. Bring it on, you abominations! The dead return! Better cut our losses. Go Nubby! Strike while the iron is hot. I'll see you off. Melt! There's always a weakness. Lend me your strength. Mountains fall! Enter the storm. To guard and defend. Crush them. <laughs> yes, you. Receive divinity. <laughs> Thank you Repent. for your help. Descend to earth. <laughs> Two wolves in the engine room. That means that even more abominations have infiltrated other areas. <sighs> Hule is already aboard the Sky Splitter. There's no time to talk about this. The war dance has already started, 
If my guess is correct, the Borison will most likely use the ceremony to begin their slaughter. Let's go. We need to get to the war dance ring. <clears throat> Come with and me. Your is right to it. the ring. I was good for the most part though. Guess no benefit in fighting random enemies. This way. We're not too late. Albert is actually getting an in-game appearance, not only um, an appearance on the YouTube channel. I guess we kind of prepared a trap for him. Two hours before the war dance commences, Seat of Divine Foresight. Uh, commence. Surround your enemy, but leave one side open. This is your strategy for ensuring that the war dance will be able to be held as usual? Precisely. When Hula escaped, we should have cancelled the war dance immediately. No one can predict where a wild beast like him will attack. Yeah, festivals and celebrations like this are likely to become targets. However, preparations for the war dance were in the works for so long, I couldn't bear to announce its cancellation. So I thought, if the show must go on, then let it go on. But that doesn't mean that the war dance we hold today has to be the real event. All we need to do and swap all the spectators and contestants aboard the ship with Cloud Knight soldiers. And the Sky Splitter, soaring high above, will become the ultimate battleground for our hunt. Hmm. But what do we do if Hule is not planning to attack the war dance? Then we just need to draw his attention to the Sky Splitter. 
We'll have the Skyfaring Commission clear all transport lanes and cut down Starskiff traffic. Then, when the time comes, there will be only one ship in the sky, and he will have no reason not to attack. General Fei Shao will be in charge of scaring the wolves and cutting off their other means of escape, making him think that this will be his best way out. Given that the Borisin already have insiders on the Law Fu, I will be in charge of putting pressure on them, making them focus solely on keeping themselves safe. Hmm. Very good. Then I'd better dust off my weary bones, too. I will go with the Skyfaring Commission to guard the Jade Gate and ensure that things do not spiral out of control. Knowing that Elder Huayan is part of our last line of defense is a great comfort. This hunt will make Hule understand that the arrows of the hunt will always be one step ahead of the abominations. Back to Zulu Dimash. That jolt just now. What's going on? It feels like the entire ship has started to slow down. Borison must have actually infiltrated the Sky Splitter. Based on General Huayan's orders, it's time for me to take action. All right. We're gonna switch up the party for a bit too, though. And gonna put Feshaw in. Is Feshaw? Go. Nice form. Shall we compete to see how? Good. Oh. Uh, you guys, you're not Cloud Knights acting as Borison, are you? <laughs> you're, you're real Borison, aren't you? Yep, they are, Marge. It's not very sticky. Oh, it looks like the general's arrangements are finally coming in handy. Oh, I need to find Yun Li and the others as soon as possible. Show me what you can do. I'll give you five. The fearless knows not fear. It's on me. <laughs> the dice have been cast. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it all. All in. You'll make good pure. I venture forth to hunt forever. Triumphant! Six, six. Victory is inevitable! Fangs and claws got dull. Never hesitate! Too slow. Awesome! Watch this! Sorry. The plan said that if Hule appears, the Cloud Knights will assemble and do everything they can to suppress him. Master Yun Li, where are you? March, I'm below the ring. I just ignored the borrows in. The hall below the ring. And in a careful planning and deliberation of the generals, you are about to face a powerful boss and enemies. You should make your preparations before advancing forward. I should be ready. Master Yan Ching! What are you doing here? Uh, I was concerned about the safety of the Sky Splitter, and my dear disciple, of course. Yan Ching? The wolf you are hunting is standing above us in the war dance ring at this very moment, facing the Cloud Knights. This war dance will not be seen by the people of the Sienjo, nor will it be just a ceremonial sword fight. This is a battle to the death that offers no honor, only mortal danger. March, are you ready? My masters are going to battle. How could they go without their disciple? <laughs> Yun Li, in this march, may your blades be sharp and your victories glorious. 
May your blades be sharp. And your victories glorious. May your blades... Ah, forget it. Let's go and make this a quick victory. <laughs> Let's go. The Warlands will find showdown starts now. <laughs> All right. So feeble. Such weakness is truly pathetic. been waiting a long, long time for this hule. Number this. My name is March 7th. Bring that to the law food. Does the same job of not having the good warriors? I wouldn't let my guard down if I were you. It's about time this old wolf tasted defeat at the hands of a young cub. Head your bets. It's on me. You think a little ambush is enough to defeat me? I will make you understand just how long you walk. Maybe I'll take it off. Right, I'll already you with me. We've entered the storm. To guard and defend. Crush them. <laughs> no dirty tricks, alright. Watch your head. Need a shine. Yeah, you broke him. Sweet. Time to show you Azure Dragon, White Tiger, Less Card. What's this? There's always a weakness. I venture forth. This dude actually worked quite well, isn't it? Sweet with all your might, dear cops. Enter the storm. To guard and defend. Crush them. Fangs and claws got dull. The fearless knows not fear. Too slow. Watch your head. Awesome. Now watch this. This battle is unavoidable. <laughs> Secrets are a weapon that a hunter cannot live without. Those that have no secrets are no more than prey, cut open and waiting for death. What you're saying is, in your eyes, I am no more than prey that has exhausted all of its secrets and is simply awaiting its death. 
Do you think you have some other escape route? <laughs> oh, Jiao Cho. I have already peeled back your disguises and defenses, layer by layer. I know all the secrets that you and your general have buried so deep. <gasps> but you have told me all of your secrets too, Warhead. <laughs> oh, but you will never have a chance to use them. You will be buried with them right here. Although, you are a fortunate one. How so? After all, you will avoid having to see the tragic future that awaits your general. I'm sure she understands her fate far better than you ever will. One day on the battlefield, she will be overpowered by her ever-intensifying moon rage, and finally be torn apart by her fury and transformation. Not even your god can save her from this fate, although they can lead her to liberation. And the only way to save her is here. Who is there? My hands. Who is he referring to up there? <laughs> Are you the healer? Or am I? Are you really that certain of your own judgment? I must leave, Foxian. But before I go, you know what I must do. Don't you? Drink blood wine. I hear it is a Borisan custom to kill prisoners and drink their blood before battle to stir up their madness. You really did put hard work into researching us. It is a shame that this is where your journey ends. Are you the healer, Jiao Cho? Is there anything that I can do for you? I heard that you saved me. There's no need to thank me. If you're a healer, can you cure my moon rage? And what if I can? Do I just sit back and watch as you head back out to die in battle? Listen to me, child. Your condition is not suited for the battlefield. Okay, then... then... Can you cure war? <laughs> That's a weird thing what to ask for. talking all. about? I'm just a healer. All I can do is... So all you can do is heal us and let us go cure war. Such arrogance, young lady. This war has been waged for thousands of years and it will only continue. What do you mean by cure war? All you will achieve is getting yourself killed. You healers work yourselves to the bone to save people, even though there will always be sickness and death. So we will also keep fighting. I cannot speak for the dead, but I know that General Yueyu, as well as all the warriors that never returned from battle, will not have died in vain. They fought so that others could make it home alive. Your actions are no different. <sighs> Jiao Cho, this is an order. Cure me! How do you get a piggy child to eat green chilies? How do you get a suspicious and devious wolf to drink down poison? I've already told you the answer. 
<laughs> Those who have no secrets are no more than prey. Cut open and waiting for death. Enjoy the taste of my fresh blood, who lay. Unfortunately, I am not a man without secrets. I still have one little secret hidden up my sleeve. <laughs> Tumble dust. I drank it a while ago, and the poison is already flowing through my veins. Sooner or later, you will begin to feel the effects. If the most lethal poison known to this world is able to save innocent lives, then it can also be called a great medicine. I will do my best to cure you. Fish out. I kept my promise. At the cost of this insignificant life. Bring victory to the Yao Jing. Phase two. All right. Kool-Aid's movements are slowing down. This is our chance. Time for us to put this dog down. Does someone else take this one? Here you go, Master. Show me what you can do. I'll give you five seconds. The fearless knows not fear. Watch your head. I venture forth to hunt. Forever. Triumphant! Ch Ch Victory is Or maybe it. I'll take it off. You'll pay for this. <sighs> We've entered the storm. To guard and defend, crush them. <laughs> You're doing so many follow up attacks, like Jesus. Trying to party temporarily, okay. I mean, we keep the party as it is. 
Skaku English word for companions. Why do I feel like he suddenly started to flag during our battle? It must have been our awe-inspiring righteousness that struck fear into his heart. <laughs> you really are an overthinker. What's the point of worrying about these things? Who cares why he started to weaken? All that matters is that we won. Nah. I really do not want to see another fox and die though. Tingu already was enough. We don't need like Georgia to die as well because I actually really like him. The hunt is finally over. Thank you for holding out so long. The Cloud Knights are withdrawing as we speak. Lieutenant Yang Ching, how are you holding up? General, is everything okay on the ground? Everything's fine. We were able to suppress the Borson attacks. When I sensed that Hule was not on the ground, I raced to get here as quickly as I could. Who would have imagined that I would arrive late to the battlefield for the first time in my life? No. Perhaps you young one's blades were just too fast for me. <laughs> I originally thought, in the best case scenario, you would team up and hold this beast back while protecting yourselves. However, you joined forces and defeated Hule. Ah, the youth are truly to be feared and respected. Come, we need to lock up Hule once again before anything unexpected happens. Oh yeah. I was kind of already raised the red flag. I feel like something unexpected will happen now. Such an unforgettable blade. So similar to the one wielded by that woman who defeated me all those years ago. <laughs> Over 700 years have passed. And I thought I would have a way to overcome it by now. But in the end... My fangs and claws were too slow. <laughs> you won, child. Stop struggling, Hule. There's plenty of time for you to be tortured by your regrets when you go back to the Shackling Prison. Mm. Yes, I was defeated, but this was not unexpected. <laughs> And regardless, <laughs> you still showed your face, face shall. There's something more coming, is it not? I see. I think I know who we will be fighting next. Interesting. I want to go on the safe side. I will put a hero in as well. It's 
prepared for you. You've doomed yourselves. <laughs> As I meet my demise, so shall the entire Sancho Lapo. The crimson moon in my chest will make this place shine with blood. I will drive all foxes to madness in their fear, craving slaughter without end. The Boris and Warhead, a product of the Plague Mark. Why is it lagging? I'll leave the next part to you. I don't understand. We cannot allow this thing to spread. I will do all within my power to consume this Crimson Moon. Once the situation changes, Lieutenant Yen Ching, you are to enforce Cloud Knight's military rules. Understood. <laughs> Converge and awaken. I will not allow any of you to leave the Sky Splitter. Does she think we're her enemies? Hulei just wanted to take down the general, even at the cost of his own life. Snap out of it, general. <sighs> I got your fourth time. Forever. Check. 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 She has a bro. This time, I must break my promise. Where now? Is this the Sky Splitter? Or somewhere else? Lieutenant Yen Ching, you are to enforce the Cloud Knight's military rules. Understood. We can't let her get away! Snap out of it, General! You always win the hardest battles for yourself. Even now, you would never run away. Isn't it strange that as your enemy, I 
Death of Effectment. Before every hunt, I make preparations for defeat and retreat. But not this time. This time, defeat was exactly the ending I was racing towards. When I learned your story from Chow Chu, I realized that he had always been hiding a secret. That's being so cryptically. But I accept it. I mean, characters usually try to like to do this, but now, why not? Let us break through the ironclad defenses of the Armada General's heart and see what secret she has hidden in those deepest, darkest corners. Okay. I'll stick with this party for now. Survival of the fittest is nothing but an excuse. You cannot weaken my resolve, Hu Leg. Blinded by the fury of your moon rage, you've slaughtered your allies. Merlin's claw, you have betrayed the alliance. I'm not even sure what I should say to this. I just want to play it out because I'm just like, what are we here? Actually, going off all that. Your actions are no different from those of the abominations we stand against. At the end of the day, it is the blood of the abominations that runs through your veins. One day, you will inevitably become an enemy of the Alliance. Cloud Knights, formation. of your new master's army without hesitation. You thought that you had found freedom, respect, and recognition. But you were 
I doubt you would ever be your raw head, to be honest. Knew you. That's right. We are so similar after all. We are both monsters that were born for war and will die for war. I'm 
sure my answer doesn't need much explanation. I refuse. Curious, don't I? You do not understand, do they? You have no idea what it is that I truly desire. When I was just a child, I stained my hands with blood for the first time in order to escape the whips and shackles of the Wolf Masters. When Lance Darkness behind comes the fierce howls of wolves and the cries of wild beasts. Ran with me. We ran and ran with all the strength we had. But we ended up losing each other. I escaped the hunting pack and encountered a woman that could fly. A cloud knight. Unfortunately, when I led her back in order to free my Kular companions, there was nothing left there but a bottomless pit. I followed the trail of that light alongside my Cloud Knight allies and saw it fall countless more times. Gradually, I came to understand. That light was not some shooting star that carried wishes and aspirations. Each Lux arrow meant that countless lives in a helpless world were about to be obliterated. I prayed to the god of the sky bow that I would never have to witness one of these shooting stars fall again. But they ignored my prayers. That's right. They never answer us. They just let us loose in this world to massacre each other. That is why the fierce battle between has raged to this day. And the gods who never bleed nor cry, who want silently from above, refuse to listen to the prayers of mortals. Then we have no choice but to fight for our own desires. Why is this only getting so philosophical? Perhaps 
So, what is it that you yearn for, Hule? Why is it that you fight? I fight so that I can turn the stars above into a great wilderness for the poorest and to roam. What about you, Saran? I fight so that one day I will never have to witness another shooting star falling to the ground. So that just one more person can live and return to the Yao Ching alongside me. You would resist becoming the person you were supposed to be. Lower yourself from a free wolf to a domesticated fox just for the sake of one person. We are so similar. Both monsters that were born for war and will die for war. You were right when you said that, Ule. So, I shall pray to the heavens. Even if they do not respond to me, I pray that the arrows of the hunt will pierce the heart of every monster. You see me, shooting star. The knights are sworn to protect the Sienjo. I will uphold this vow until my very last day. becomes enhanced. Top of the is by pass and risen state increases when your power is broken. Okay. Together as one. Let's go. Fiends or devils. I'll crush them all. The market is unpredictable. Ah, oh, right. Investing in victory means playing the long game. Make your move. Never hesitate. That won't do. I'm not talking. Easy, Numbi. <laughs> okay, that's not really happening. I swear. I'm not sure which one's supposed to attack first. Your 
beast to devour. It will first have to beg for my mercy! I swear to be the heir. Forever triumphant! I'm gonna break you again immediately. At least I'll okay. Easy, Numbi. Liquidation! Juice. The market is unfair. Right. Combusting in victory means playing the long game! Hey! Juice. Tears of your skin! Yeah, it looks like they do share HP. Okay. Get them. I see through you. The fight is alright. Fiends or devils? I'll crush them all! I see through you. I just see it taking quite a long time. Converge and awaken! We're breaking everything. It's <laughs> nice. Never Stay put. Get there. Juice. Easy, Numbi. Go, Numbi. and Yang. Fear the not fear. That won't do. I think I'm actually safe to go to mid. For uh, 
the next phase. As one. I swear to be the arrow. Resonance up again. Uh, Market is unpredictable. Don't have me break this one. Attacks are okay, doing damage. I see through you. They're actually doing good damage. Together as one. All things human creations. Let the 
is on Christ! Investing in victory means playing the long game! I see through you. She was a little up. I swear to be forever triumphant. Victory is inevitable. Get them. Make your move, Lay. Never hesitate. That won't do. I didn't even do this much, I'm not just some around. I'll crush them all. All things human creations. This? It looks like the, uh, the hunt actually gazed upon her, which is rare for the for the to do. As Rod is defeated and slain, the wolf troopers can no longer resist and are completely overrun by the cloud nines. Tom Hunt and Mosa then find Georgia, who is at his death store. And this time, there is one more business that must be settled within the affair around who lays jailbreak. Ooh, we are switching to Ringsha. I'd like to hear their explanations. Ah, right, there was dead. I totally forgot about that. Um, I'm also gonna adjust the party for this. Go. The creature in the burner is quiet. Welcome, Miss Lingsha. I am Preceptor Tauron. Greetings, my honored Preceptor. It's been a while since we last touched base. I've brought a friend with me today. I believe you're already familiar with each other. Tauron? What? Elder Tauron? I remember when I was exiled, you were on the verge of passing on. <laughs> What's with this new look? <laughs> All of this is thanks to your past life. Had you not been so rash, I wouldn't have had to walk such a dangerous road to free our clan, becoming this specter of my former self. <sighs> Gave himself up to the abundance then. Don Hung, you've returned twice. But it seems that meeting us fossils wasn't on your agenda. Regrettable indeed. Now here you are to meet me anyway. Life does love its ironies, doesn't it? I didn't come here with Miss Lingsha today to reminisce. Indeed. When the Cauldron Master extends an invitation, it's only proper for the preceptors to attend. The newly appointed Cauldron Master, there's been much to take care of within the Alchemy Commission. It's only now that I've had the chance to speak with you. Please forgive the delay, Elder. I sent over some evidence regarding the prison break in the Shackling Prison. 
I trust you've already looked it over? Yes. You sent us the remains of Mara struck soldiers, a map of the Shackling prison, and a semblance reversion essence pill. These are the remains of assassins who used Cloud Hymn magic to conceal their tracks. They aided in the Borsons' escape, allowing them unimpeded passage through the Shackling prison. That marked up map is a map of prisoners' escape routes. Vidyadra Craftsman once made blueprints for the prison's construction, so I imagine, Mr. Tauran, you have a similar map in your possession. This pill... Is Semblance Reversion Essence? Indeed. I helped plot the prison break in the Shackling prison. Hmm. You just all right. <laughs> so, so, the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus joining forces with the Lord Ravager to stir up trouble in the Alchemy Commission, the introduction of the Stellaron, and the Ambrosial Arbor's resurrection all have something to do with the Vidyadara. That's right. Are you surprised? After all, both of you were sent here by the Seed of Divine Foresight as messengers to hear my confession, weren't you? Ever since the sedition of Imbibador Lune, the population of the Vidyadara has dwindled. With the High Elder exiled, a few of us preceptors had to do what we could to turn the tide. My methods might have been drastic, perhaps even incomprehensible. But it was all for one cause. The survival of the Vidyadara. Yet, the Sienjo natives zealously forbid any plague marks and did nothing while the Vidyadara suffered. Don Hung, Lingxia, as Vidyadara, you should understand the desperation behind my actions. All I've tried to do is to ensure our survival. I'm well aware of the challenges the Vidyadara face. Fighting for survival isn't a sin. But Elder, your actions have gone beyond mere survival. You've become a beast driven solely by the propagation, devoid of even a hint of empathy. <laughs> oh, despite calling ourselves a noble draconic bloodline, at our core, we're merely bipedal beasts. The survival of our kind is paramount. If I hadn't resorted to beastly actions, the Vidyadara might not even exist. The sages show no mercy, as the old wisdom goes. When the High Elder abandoned our people's survival, I had to shoulder the world's sins alone. Lingxia, Don Hung, the past is behind us, but the future of the Vidyadara still lies within your grasp. The situation on the Sienjo Lafu has changed rapidly. As Vidyadara, we must unite in purpose and avoid the mistakes of the previous Imbibitor Lune. I was initially skeptical about the Vidyadra's betrayal of the Alliance. But after hearing your confession, I realized that there is no point in talking about trust. Breaking the covenant of our Alliance will bring war upon the Vidyadra. Even if we are able to have offspring again, what difference will it make? Once my plan succeeds, the Alliance will see the Vidyadara as their saviors, because both parties ultimately share the same interests. <laughs> so now that survival won't convince us, you want to talk about interests? For a thousand years, the Alliance has been engaged in brutal warfare against the denizens of abundance. Yet victory has remained beyond reach. Have you ever wondered why? <sighs> Should the Alliance emerge victorious, they will inevitably become the next denizens of abundance. However, if they suffer defeat, the Alliance will face extinction. Thus, the Alliance has deceitfully upheld this precarious balance. However, I have a way to escape from this dilemma. The Alliance's path to salvation lies within the secret of Dragon Transmutation. Imagine if there were a way to transform other life forms into Vidyadara. The Alliance would then possess an endless stream of soldiers and would not need to worry about casualties. And we already know that this is possible. <laughs> because in Bible de Lune, before a cetacean did exactly that. Once the war ended, these soldiers would cease reproduction, eliminating concerns of 
Overpopulation. This is the way to salvation for the Sienjo Alliance. The ultimate path to end the universe's suffering under the immortality plague. Only we, the Vidyatara, can achieve this. So, you relied on this rhetoric to manipulate the ignorant members of the Vidyatara into serving you. I am deeply disappointed in you, Elder. Your thoughts and intentions are completely devoid of empathy. Cloud Knights! Hold it! Miss Bailu! Mr. Dunhong and Sister Ling Sha! Everyone's... here? You think I don't know why you're really here? Jing Yuan sent you here to test me, didn't he? According to the oath between the Alliance and the Vidyatara, it's forbidden to spill Vidyatara blood on their own territory. Are you all ready to violate this oath in the presence of the Law Fu's High Elder? Dragon Lady, there's no need to panic. Elder. The Vidyadara's sacred grounds and the High Elder are not to be used as pawns in exchange for your life. <laughs> you talk a big game. As if you have the nation and the people's best interests at heart. But when it really matters, you use a small girl as your shield. <laughs> it's ridiculously pitiful. <laughs> I've said it before. Survival is never a sin. We are all Vidyatara, so you should understand my intentions. And as a Vidyatara, I will leave for you a dignified solution. Leave the Scale Gorge waterscape immediately, and appeal to the top echelons of the Alliance. Let the six charioteers hold a trial, and sentence me to exuviation and rebirth. I see right through your plans, Mr. Tauron. Fityadara Rebirth erases past crimes, but I'm well aware of the Preceptor's dirty tricks during Rebirth. You might not be you, but you will still be you. I won't forgive myself for past sins under the pretext of knowing nothing, nor will I allow you to evade accountability. <sighs> Don Hong, I've always disliked your inability to see the bigger picture. Rebirth hasn't changed you one bit. Miss Bailu, as High Elder of the Law Fu Fidyatara, please share your thoughts at this moment. I... I don't want to stay here. <laughs> I'm tired of being pushed around. I'm not some puppet to be controlled. Please, take me away with you! I understand. As the oath dictates, members of the Alliance are forbidden from harming Vidyatara here. But I have long since severed ties with the Alliance. Right now, I'm simply a nameless, free to come and go as I please. The oath of the Xianzhou means nothing to the spear in my hand. That was quick. <laughs> Get them. Do whatever it takes. Make sure they don't leave you alive. The market is on right. Investing in victory means playing the long game. How about a one-on-one? -on -one? The fearless knows not fear. She's love. Time to cleanse the field. That won't do. I venture forth to hunt. Mm. We take you connected to here, Wolf. Ah, Victory is inevitable. Live it, trip. Of a 
dice have been cast. Bust? Or maybe I'll take it off! Watch your head! You need to get stronger. Show me what you can do. I'll give you five. Never hesitate! No! Get it together. All in. Allow me to purge the root of the problem. I venture forth to hunt forever. Triumphant! Victory is inevitable! <laughs> the truth, everything in this world is bleeding. No risk, high reward. Sure, I'll play along. It's on me. <laughs> Fangs and claws got dull. The fearless knows not fear. I won't do. Bye bye. Dragon lady, are you all right? I'm. I'm fine. Thank you for rescuing me. You... You actually came here in person? Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to hear your lofty opinions. The public trial you seek with the Six Charioteers is inevitable. In addition, I'll write to the Seish Queller of the Fong Hu. With her hatred for evil, I'm sure she will make a just decision. If it's her, she will earn the respect and ascent of all the Vidyadara on the La Fu. In terms of martial prowess, you indeed have the upper hand. But if you're under the impression that this advantage can be used to settle the score with us preceptors... Ah, that's quite an overestimation. Given the Vidyadara's foundation within the Alliance, do you really think you can do anything to us? As I mentioned, I'll take all the blame and become the scapegoat. With the secrets I possess, the interrogation alone will take an eternity. And in the end, through various exchanges of interests, I am certain to survive. You understand this better than anyone, as it's the very art of trade-offs you love to wield. <laughs> Lastly, a word of caution to you. I heard that Hule has escaped from prison and is headed directly for the Sky Splitter. The bloodshed at the War Dance is bound to be gruesome. Perhaps, even before my trial, your impeachment will have you in dire straits first. Ah, oh, the case is already resolved. <laughs> Regrettably, Mr. Tauron. The Sky Splitter only hosted Cloud Knights today. No audience. And just moments ago, Hule was executed by the Cloud Knights. So much for that. Operation Wolf Hunt Showdown has ended. The messengers from the Realm Keeping Commission. <laughs> We're in the Alchemy Commission tomorrow's morning for summer. Ah. Uh, the messenger from the Realm Keeping Commission is calming down the populace and the momentary disruption has subsided. Oh. Right a morning about Miss March. <laughs> So why is Spider with us all of a sudden? <laughs> Miss March! My dear Miss March! What is this? <laughs> I was only in the bathroom for a little bit, and you've already arranged my deck? Hey, can't you play some normal games with Dragon Lady? Hmm. 
Oh, thanks a lot for that. <laughs> All right, enough playing. It's time to visit my masters. The infirmary is right over there. You can go by yourself. Oh, come back and visit me when you have time. Next time, let's not play overly realistic make-believe with this doofus, okay? <laughs> well, there's not much I could do. General Fei Xiao didn't really give me any chance to shine during this wolf hunt operation. Yeah, sadly enough. Also, why is he not really speaking? I feel like this is just like a weird cutscene for them to choose for him to let him speak, but okay. Uh... If I had been in the ring, I could have knocked down ten who lays with just one strike. You sound enough. exactly like Master Yenching. But for now, both he and Yun Li have been forced to go to the Alchemy Commission for some well-needed rest. I'm the least accomplished in swordplay, but I came out unscathed. I really ought to thank my masters for taking all the blows on my behalf. Uh, a screenshot. Ah, okay. We have a screenshot. Right all the way there. Hmm. Look who's here. The beloved Trailblazer and the charming March 7th. You came to the Alchemy Commission today. Oh, I get it. You are here with March to visit her masters, aren't you? Exactly. How are my masters doing at the moment? Unfortunately, only one master is here. I'm doing fine. I'm just following the doctor's advice. <laughs> Miss Bailu said I could take a stroll, so here I am. Aww. Your master Yenching wasn't as lucky. He's probably still in bed. Considering the intense battle with Hule, and then with General Feishao, <laughs> the rigorous sparring session with her. His small body couldn't take it anymore. Uh, Master Yun Li, didn't you also engage in combat? The little babies from the Lafu just don't have the resilience that us kids from the Juming have. <laughs> I heard from Modza about the tough battle against the wolf troopers. <sighs> you fought alongside Modza. Did you get hurt? Mm. I heard a few yeah. versions of the story from the Cloud Knights who were there. The number of wolf troopers went from a few dozen to thousands. And the number keeps rising. It's becoming more absurd by the minute. Yun Li, go and lie down. Got it, Lingsha. <laughs> what about that smiley fox healer and the guy with the hood? <sighs> Thank goodness you and the others found Yao Cho. He lost a lot of blood and needs to rest properly. He and Maoza are seriously wounded. I've had to forcibly confine them to the Alchemy Commission. All three from the Aoqing are critically injured. But fortunately, the Sienjo Laofu has a miraculous healer lady. It's a silver lining in this misfortune. Why <laughs> oh, coming like to Russia again? The entire delegation from the Sienjo Yaoqing is gathered at the Alchemy Commission. Why don't we go see General Fei Xiao and bring her some fruit? I would normally say no, because they need to rest. But, alas, what can you do when the two of them have a leader who is just as restless? General Fei Xiao just slipped out of the recovery room. She thinks she's so sneaky, but I know everything that happens in the Alchemy Commission. If you're looking to meet her, the Lunarescent Deaths might be your best bet. I spotted her heading that way earlier. <laughs> The sound of those footsteps. They must belong to General Feishao. Out and about, despite the doctor's orders. <laughs> All three of you, for whatever reason. What a coincidence. Someone else who refuses to listen to the doctor's orders. 
Well, being a doctor myself, I don't think my knowledge of my own body is inferior to the Dragon Lady's. The healer does not heal himself. Don't try to act tough in front of me. <sighs> I'm sorry, Zhao Cho. I didn't expect you to use poison that way. What a miscalculation. <sighs> if only I'd found you sooner. If only I hadn't sent you to the Shackling Prison. The way you're speaking, is this really the Fei Shao I know? Or could it be a Forestan assassin? Imitating your voice to take my life. <laughs> Zhao Cho, your eyes. You can't see anymore, can you? I can still clearly hear the sound of the waves. That's enough for me. Also, oh, Zhao Zhao is blind now. Don't blame yourself. You know what I'm more concerned about. Has your body had any changes since you swallowed the Crimson Moon? I'm not sure. There don't appear to be any changes. However, the many doubts that once plagued me have dissipated. I never thought I'd live to hear you discuss your health again. But thanks to Morza and that child, the price I've paid seems trivial compared to what we've achieved. I hold no grievances, Fei Shao. I am content. I don't know how to offer words of comfort, nor do I know much about curing others' ailments. I am just a warrior, so my pledge to you is simple. An eye for an eye. <laughs> so you were here too. In this vast universe, there's bound to be someone who can heal your eyes. I'll find them. But until then... The threat behind all this chaos needs to be dealt with. You must already have some ideas. Let them out. The resurgence of the Sanctus Medicus and the gathering of the Borisen are merely distractions orchestrated by an unseen force meant to divide the Alliance's attention. Unfortunately, they picked the wrong fight this time. Once we return to the Yao Ching, I'll personally lead the Verdant Knights into battle. I vow to take down a Lord Ravager and teach the Ruined Legion the true meaning of the hunt. So they're going out to Fenty. <laughs> I knew it. You've always been so impatient. Feed up to one for side. I apologize for my tardiness once again. The Alchemy Commission detained me for some time for a health examination. They released me only after ensuring I was in good condition. <laughs> General, seeing you safe and sound puts our minds at ease. Hule's escape caused significant upheaval and forced the war dance to be put on hold. A truly unforeseen disaster. Fortunately, the younger generation showed their valor. They bravely tackled the crisis, putting an end to the disaster and providing a glimmer of hope in a dire situation. Before Master Diviner Fu Xuan's departure for the Yutre, I consulted with her about the war dance. She left a note stating, The hexagram oscillates between thunder and heaven, a sign of great power. 
assuring us that we would successfully navigate any challenges. <laughs> okay. She advised me to trust the younger generation's abilities and let them lead. Her predictions, it appears, have come true. It's just... The Sienjo Luo Fu's long-standing duty of keeping Hule imprisoned ended with his death on the Sky Splitter. This event is likely to bring much criticism from the Alliance's upper ranks. However, Hule's demise might actually be a blessing in disguise. Broadcasting this news could derail the Borison's resurgence and quash the ambitions of those who wish to take advantage of his return. Hand over Hule's remains to the Xianzhou Yao Ching, and I'll handle the explanations to the Alliance. But what about the war dance? While the Wolf Hunt mission was a success, the events on the Sky Splitter remain a secret. However, the news of the Borison's attacks on the streets will spread like wildfire. The war dance was interrupted, so it must be reconvened. As for the people who witnessed the attacks, beyond placating them, we also need to show them the Sienjo Cloud Knight's fearless dedication. On the war dance's opening day, Rogue Borison attempted to stir up panic, but was swiftly neutralized by the Merlin's Claw and the Cloud Knights. Genuine tale of heroism that will captivate and calm the public. As Elder Huayan suggests, the Law Fu will do its best to heal the wounded and compensate those who were affected. We aim to reopen the war dance in the coming weeks. This settles the immediate concerns on the Law Fu, but my thoughts linger on the orchestrator behind these events. From the onset of the Ambrosial Arbor Crisis, the Xianzhou Law Fu has experienced numerous disturbances directly linked to the Lord Ravager Fantilia. Her attempt to infiltrate the Xianzhou with the Borisen and sway the Law Fu preceptors to join the Sanctus Medicus's insurrection was unsuccessful. But I have a feeling that she is indifferent to the success of her plans. Rather than outright victory, Fentilia's motives seem to lie in breeding discord and chaos among allies. Should the Alliance fail to mend these rifts, it risks disintegrating into a pile of sand. The goal of the Xianzhou Alliance has not changed for thousands of years. Perhaps we should point the weapon in our hand toward this new adversary. I plan to bring this matter before the Marshal following the war dance. With Elder Huayang's insight, one wonders how the Marshal will react. <laughs> it's clear we're engaged in a game of chess not seen in thousands of Amber Eras. A game where even the strategists become pawns in battle. Where the stakes are as high as the fates of countless stars in the sky. <laughs> Predicting the Marshal's decision is beyond me, yet she's well aware of our concerns. She has tasked General Yao Guang with performing extrapolations day and night to gauge the situation comprehensively. Okay. We gather today not just to tackle the Law Fu's predicaments, but also to address a matter requiring our collective presence. Yao Guang has sent a message from the Xianzhou Yuchui informing us that she wishes to share the results of recent calculations she made within the Matrix. Ching Yuin, I'd like to borrow the seat of Divine Foresight's chessboard for this purpose. The ancient bear has been struck in the depths of the Zencho Jojo in the sound wave. Just I suppose... Hello, everyone. Uh... Yuan, it's been a long time. Over three decades have passed since we last convened. I've dearly missed each of you generals during this time. <laughs> Was the seer strategist thinking of us or thinking of the fates we're destined for? The Merlin's Claw. As blunt as always. Though not everyone's cup of tea, huh? <laughs> you once told Jing Yuan, you're lucky that I'm the one who came this time. If it were the seer strategist, this conversation might not be so friendly. 
I'm intrigued. Did this conversation really come to pass? <laughs> I've never heard anyone mention that the Decalite reflection barrier could eavesdrop on even the quietest whispers. It appears that the Marshal sent not just two generals to the Luofu, but an uninvited third guest as well. Mr. Jing Yuan's intellect shines as brightly as the seer strategist. Hmm. With the Lao Fu caught in such strife, the Yu Chui couldn't just stand by and watch. <sighs> seer strategist, our time with the Yellow Bell is limited. Let's get straight to the point. All right. Thanks to Mr. Jing Yuan, the interrogation of the two prisoners on the Yu Chui has concluded. Ooh. Okay, Luo, Zhang Jing, you are being brought up again. Finally. Mr. Jing Yuan's speculations were correct. Of the crimes they confessed to, planting a Stellaron on the La Fu was a complete fabrication meant to mislead. Their real aim was to secure a meeting with the Marshal to present their Godslayer Protocol, a strategy they firmly believe in. And what was this grand strategy proposed by Jing Liu and that traveler? The narrative they painted was vast and difficult to put into words. It all revolves around the coffin of the blonde traveler. To be precise, it's the remnants of the propagation. Oh. The remains of the swarm author? More accurately, it's a fragment of the divine body. In the future they depicted, this fragment serves as the final nail, sealing the fate of the plague's author and securing its doom. Before reaching that point, battling the gods necessitates a larger alliance. Hence, they sought out an ally for the Sianjo. I assume you've all heard of the famed Genius Society member number 81, Ron May? haven't you? The I of the Yu Chui has just seen this uninvited guest arrive on the Sianjo Lafu. Wait, what's Ruin Mei doing here? I'm not sure if I appreciate this, but... It could, no, it could actually be that um, Digi came here with Weld and... Himeko. Because they actually were like seeking out Rame. Three, two, one. Right on time. Now, as for the best way to receive our distinguished guest, I'll leave that in your capable hands. Do you remember your name? My name is Ting Yun. I serve as an amicassador of the Whistling Flames Merchant Guild on the Sienjo Lafu. Oh. Hitting at a comeback of Tingyu, we there already. I'm really curious for the next update, what they're planning, what they have like in store for Ting Yun. Because this is, this could actually get quite interesting. So, pick up a few of these achievements. Up. a bit too fast with button mashing, yeah? And this is... Uh, unnecessary. Fulfilled wish. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, a few interesting, a few interesting battle achievements I still would like to get.
Mm. I also have no idea what ESO today because I just went straight into this game for the story today. If that I can actually jump into the event. Yeah, I still have to do the apocalyptic shadow even once. <laughs> I just didn't get Shui. <laughs> well, the funny thing is, if I would get this uh, Rei Shui, I would actually get it to E6. Okay. Oh, there's a few things here. Uh, she will be a weekly boss now. Yeah, okay. Not surprising, actually. All visitors are requested to prepare for security checks in advance. Please remove your personal items and follow the guidance. I still prefer the Radiant Bell Spot. Security screening. Uh, what are we supposed to find with her? With it? Is there anything of interest to you? Doesn't look like it. I'm just return. No, I came to enough for this time. It is for the war dance, all right. That's right. Oh, it comes to your pee. Thank you so much. Uh, A rare opportunity. You? Let's check out the backstage of the Sky Splitter. Maybe there's something exciting going on backstage that you won't be able to see from the spectator seats. I can check it out a bit. Actually, I haven't checked yet. Check Doctor Ratio. No comedy scrum surprised me. I'm only a tester. Ah, uh, just an update to this thing. Okay. <laughs> Are you just talking about if you know any of any of the other curse swords? to test the limits of a remote control range. Okay. Is that on clean? Script create power. 
Names of Tiesto Express. Missing. What is there doing to me? Train master, okay. Certain skies, but just don't remember what kind of movie it is. Okay. Why did you want to participate in the war dance? Luca, didn't expect to see you here. How did he get here? Frailblazer? Why are you here? <laughs> I see. This is my first time leaving Bellabog to compete in outer space. Are you a friend of Mr. Luca's? Allow me to introduce myself. I am an interastral peace entertainment journalist in training, Carmella. I was supposed to follow Mr. Albert to cover the war dance together, but he's got a million things to attend to. So, the tasks of interviewing the popular contenders and producing the special program fell on my shoulders. Oh, these are huge responsibilities. I've been interning for so many years. If I screw this up, I doubt I'll ever get the chance at a full-time role. Ooh, the IPC sure is harsh. <laughs> It'll be fine. It's just my boss trying to mentor me. As long as I get some shots that'll shock and awe, I'm sure I'll be able to clinch a full-time job this year. <laughs> I can sense the potential of a juicy program just through Luca alone. <laughs> really? I'm not so sure about that. Why did I choose to participate in the war dance? It's a long story. You two, let's take a walk. I can tell you all about why I'm here on the way. Sure. Several weeks ago, Border Town Battle Walk. Nat, I. How long do I have left? <laughs> What's with these weird cats you do? Not just... long, Luca. Best brace yourself. Is there anything else I can do? Uh, you're already at this stage. Just eat whatever you like. Well, that won't do. I can't be gorging on garbage at this pivotal moment. It'll ruin my energy levels. <laughs> I know. You can't wait to join the finals of the Bellabog representative qualifiers. But Chapard isn't a pushover either. I've been hard at work studying how Mr. Depard moves. Just wait and see. I'll defeat Mr. Depard and be the first Bellabug fighter in 700 years to qualify for a competition in space. So they actually held, held like a tournament on Bellabug who gets to fight in the war dance? Alright. Fair enough.
Luca, you've always had this bad habit of taking a hit to exploit a weakness, but your part's much stronger than you. So remember, stay away from his punches. Master, you've been telling me that the entire trip. My ears are about to fall off. <laughs> Fine, enough prattle. But don't let the need to win weigh too heavily on you either. Even if you don't make it to that Sianjo Lofu, you've made it to the final to fight against your part. That's enough to make anyone proud. That won't do! Okay. Luca promised Hook that he has to win the final and take Hook up there to see the stars beyond. <laughs> Uh, you sure got some daydreams on you, little one. Don't worry, Master Oleg and Pitch Dark Hook the Great. I'll win this for sure. Wait, are you actually fighting us him? I haven't used him, like, ever. Mr. Depard, I've always been hoping to fight you. There's no one in the overworld more worth challenging than you. I'm honored. I've also been raring to witness the strength of the legendary Luca Strongarm. Uh, I'm not great at conversation, so it's a good thing we're both warriors. We don't have to use words to understand each other. Well said, Luca. Let your determined desire for victory speak through your fists. How did he work again? <laughs> Our position is sober. Just getting started. Uh, mana physical comes to six. In the name of preservation! No, we're talking. Step out of it. Resistance is futile. Where's the applause? Let's see some sparks fly! Our position is so Small fry. Get cocky! Give up. This ends here! I've... lost. Mr. Depard, you were better than me. Luca, there wasn't ever any doubt in your technique and strength. But you were too concerned with winning. And that prevented you from unleashing your utmost. Uh, uh, then what am I doing here if not to attain victory? That's a question you need to ask yourself. From my experience, a person's inner voices make far too much noise, especially so during safe and quiet moments. Ironically, the voices that truly matter often become audible only in moments of pain, discomfort, and peril. When perhaps you leave your cozy hometown and head to the unfamiliar Law Fu, you will find your answer. Hold on. When I reach the Law Fu? But you won. Truth be told, I can't just drop my work and leave Bellabog. <laughs> my reason for coming to this martial tournament was to verify if you were good enough to contend against competitors from other worlds. And now I see you're good enough. You're younger and more upbeat than I am. A far more appropriate image for Bellabog. Don't forget that the reason we're participating in the war dance is also to promote Urillo 6 to the rest of the cosmos. Luca, I'm entrusting the chance of attending the war dance on the Sienjo La Fu to you. Mr. Depart, please don't pity me. Chances must be earned fairly through our own strength. You are mistaken, Luca. It is not pity. I am lending you this victory, and you will repay me by winning the war dance. I hereby announce that the contender who has earned the right to represent Bellabog in the war dance is 
Why not see that? <laughs> Understood, Mr. Japart. Chin up. Let's go. We should head to Klopoff Fort and meet with the Supreme Guardian. Hello, Luca. Uh, Lady Branya. Uh, uh, hi? Uh, sorry, I grew up in the underworld, so I'm not... First, in etiquette of any sort. No need for formalities. You probably know nothing about the La Fu. The place you're heading to, correct? Let us take this opportunity to discuss it. I've always been a little curious. Though Eurolo 6 has restored contact with the outside worlds, we've always just been communicating with the IPC. Why are we suddenly participating in this fighter's tournament in this Luofu place? Not long ago, Bellabog's interstellar comm space resumed operations. A month ago, we received an invitation with a highly distorted signal. The Sienjo Lafu cordially invites Yarillo Six's warriors to join the war dance. We've just resumed outside contact, and the way the IPC describes it, the cosmos has long forgotten us. Why would the Xianzhou so eagerly send an invitation to a city that has been buried in time? Because they are our friends. And we are your friends. So take your hands and shake them. Be happy. There you go. <laughs> My guess is that it's because we had communications with many worlds before the Eternal Freeze. Luca. Have you heard of the story of Igor Haft? Oh, you mean the legendary warrior? Of course I have! I'll never tire of the story where he led the 8th Iron Legion and engaged in a furious battle against invaders from beyond the sky! That's him! When the Eternal Freeze subsided, Linksy, uh, <clears throat> Lynx, took the opportunity to explore the ruins of the ancient city of Maslanitsa. A few months ago, she found a lone grave outside the public graveyard. The grave had no body, just a robot arm and a cracked pendant with an embedded gemstone. An IPC worker said that the arm was tech from the old world. As for the stone, it's a Sienjo implement called a Jade Abacus. Oh, I've heard about that. Miss Lynx thinks it's Igor's grave. That's right. The epitaph on the tombstone confirms that hypothesis. The fighter Igor Haft once left Yurilo 6 before the invasion, and then he returned home to join the resistance against the aggressors. No one knows what he did after he left Yurilo 6, and why he decided to come back. Uh, maybe Igor had been to the Shinzo? That's why they sent us an invitation? Maybe Igor even attended the war dance. The Sienjo people have long lives, so it wouldn't be something that happened long ago for them. Long story short, regardless of why the Sienjo Alliance invited us, joining this war dance is of august meaning to Bellabog. It symbolizes a chance to introduce ourselves to the cosmos once again. A heroic kingdom that survived both the Legion and the Eternal Freeze with tenacity. Also, if we can leverage this opportunity to establish an amicable exchange with the Sienjo Alliance, it may provide us with more bargaining power when dealing with the IPC. Lady Branya, I'm not well-educated, so I don't really know such <laughs> matters of grandiosity. All I know is that I must achieve glory for Bellabog. Well said. Oh, I almost forgot. Zila had other matters today and couldn't attend today's meeting, but she entrusted me to deliver a message. <clears throat> What's that dolt Japard up to now? Luca, you better fight like your life is on the line. If you lose, I'll make sure you wish you were really dead. The next day, I hitched a ride with an IPC <laughs> transport vessel and arrived on the Xianzhou Luofu.
<laughs> the Supreme well. Guardian hopes that the younger generation can go out and see other worlds. So, she arranged for Lynx and Hook to accompany me. On account of the fact that the three of us know next to nothing about interacting with other cosmic civilizations, she even instructed Svarog to tag along and be our guide. I never thought that, while we were processing our entry papers at the Skyfaring Commission, we would run into another surprise. We've double-checked. This invitation did indeed come from the La Fu, but after checking the stamp, this invitation was dated 400 years ago. Oh. <laughs> 400 years ago? How is that possible? We just received this invite not too long ago. We can assume that this invite was delayed in transmission and only reached us after the restoration of communications. I'm afraid this Arumaton is right. You received an invitation that is 400 years late. So, we weren't invited. Oh no, this trip has all been for nothing then. How am I going to explain this to Lady Branya and Mr. Japard? They have high hopes for me. According to calculations, the thing that we should be considering first is not emotions, but... If we are not invited guests, then we will be responsible for all costs incurred while staying here. Conclusion, we cannot afford it. Well... <laughs> you all misunderstand. The Sianjo La Fu is indeed hosting a martial arts competition called the War Dance. Whether you receive an invitation or not, anyone who wants to can register to compete in the War Dance. The sole distinction is that invited guests, upon qualifying through a test, get to partake in the prestigious Ringmaster's Challenge, facing off against the Sianjo La Fu's Ringmaster. As for ordinary contestants, they will have to participate in knockout stages and rise through the ranks to reach the ultimate stage of the Ringmaster's Challenge. To challenge the Lofu's Ringmaster? That's the ultimate goal for all the contestants? Hmm, <laughs> that's right. Although you didn't receive an invitation, you can still participate in the war dance. You'll definitely uh, have a chance to win and gain honor. But Mr. Svarog has a point. According to calculations, we can't afford this. <laughs> Money can't buy relationships. This invitation that's been delayed for 400 years must be a marvelous twist of fate. And since fate has brought you all here to the La Fu, we will not fail in our hospitality. Please, be assured that I will report this incident and ensure that the Bellabog representative team receives the same accommodation and treatment as all other esteemed invited guests. <laughs> However, okay. Mr. Luca, you will still have to participate in all the knockout stages and work your way up to the final stage. Really? At your expense? <laughs> the heart of the war dance is all about celebrating martial arts and fostering friendships. My friends, how could we possibly allow you to fret over food and the lodging? Thank you, Miss Chiquay! I'll treasure this opportunity! And just like that, by the grace of Miss Shikwe, I didn't die before achieving success! I just learned this old Shenzo saying a few days ago. Now, I've successfully become a competing fighter in the war dance! Hooray! Quite a long backstory. <laughs> Luca, you, you are okay. absolutely radiating with newsworthiness! I've decided to follow you and report on your progress throughout the competition. <sighs> if only everything were as smooth as when it started. If I had participated in the competition these past few days, I wouldn't be so anxious right now. It's been days since I've registered, but I haven't participated in a single match yet. Today's my first one. But... 
Forget about competing. I feel like I'm struggling with just normal, everyday life. I'm already halfway into the realm of needing help with daily activities. Why don't people accept shields? You can pay for things by just swiping a gemstone trinket? Why doesn't anyone look their age? I approached this girl with pointy ears to ask her for directions, and I called her little girl, and she got mad. She said she was over 340 <laughs> years old. And now, I'm even afraid to talk to people. That's what you call cultural shock. <laughs> and he's experiencing the full brunt of it. Oh, and meals. I'm really not used to the food on the Shenzo. Yesterday, I ate a bowl of chili oil beef offal stew for dinner. And today, I've been blowing up the toilet with my flaming rockets. <laughs> I feel you, Luca. I, I also can't get used to the food on the Sienjo. Miss Carmella, you can't get used to the food either? Uh, well, n not exactly. I it's because I'm an Intellitron. Huh. <laughs> uh, sorry, please continue. Anyways, this is the first time in my life I've felt so useless. I can't even do something as trivial as asking for directions. Thank you for comforting me. Actually, I did do some mental preparations. It's my first time going out to the world, but I didn't expect it to be so overwhelming that I can't keep my footing. Where are your Bellabogian buddies? Lynx went on an archaeological escapade. She wants to try to learn about Igor's history before he returned to Urillo 6 with that gemmed pendant. Oh, Sparog took Hook out to play. He's really good with kids. <laughs> because of Clara. I'm so irate and I'm about to start my first match. I'm in worse shape than ever. The next opponents are several Cloud Knights. Oh, they're like the Silvermane here. Oh, why am I explaining this to you? You should know better than me. I'm the only one who doesn't know anything. I mean, we could Why not you. check out who your first opponent is before the competition starts? It's better than wallowing here, as it'll just make you more anxious. <sighs> Thanks for talking to me and cheering me up. Sure, I'll head off and meet my first opponent. Luca has regained his energy. Full health revive, oh yeah! <laughs> At least I already got a group here, I guess. Oh, he's fighting against Su Shang. Uh, good luck. <laughs> if it's between just two, uh, I'm on route for Su Shang. Oh, look! Those are my opponents for my first match. Isn't that Su Shang? Huh? You know her? <laughs> yep, we do. Are you here to watch our match? This is our next opponent, Luca. Hello, everyone. I'm Luca, and I come from Bellabog. I'll be exchanging fists with you guys in the ring. I, I hope we'll be able to take this chance to become friends. Bellabog. Oh, I, I think Lil Goy mentioned it before, but I can't seem to remember. What kind of place is it? Oh, I love hero stories. Tell me more when you have time. It's okay if you haven't heard of us. I'll make sure the whole cosmos remembers Bellabog's name with my fists. In that case, I'll keep my eyes peeled. Oh, Sushong used an idiom. I'm the journalist who's reporting on Luca. Okay. I it's fine. Just, just <laughs> chat like you always do and ignore me. I I'm just snapping shots for material. Are you here to join the tournament with Mr. Luca? I, who's afraid? Uh, let me see. Your name isn't on the list. Are you Luca's coach then? The iron arm on this red haired boy looks like it's got power. Definitely capable of taking down a kid with one punch at a time. Ah, uh, but we're not kids. The Cloud Knight's tactical creed is to complement one another and overwhelm with numbers! That's called a united front, got it? 
My strategy. Uh, sorry. It's my first time participating in the war dance. I'm the only one in my team, so I don't have any strategy to speak of. It appears our otherworldly friend requires some enlightenment. How about this? The match is starting in an hour. I'll give you some real life tactical pointers in the ring. Sleepy Su Shang, that's over the line! You were supposed to be our coach when we invited you here. How could you run off to the opponent's corner? <laughs> it's just our friend from afar requires some assistance, that's all. Don't we Cloud Knights also earnestly help out and provide direction to the travelers we encounter on our daily patrols? Ah, it'll be your fault if we lose. Enough chit-chat, get back to your prep. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you, new friend whose age I won't try to estimate. We're heading back to the lounge. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of find it really funny how I was like really kind of scared about like really chitting them up <laughs> to not like tap in any like pitfalls <sighs> see you in the ring so the coach of my opponent for my first match is going to give me tactical advice in the ring I am bewildered by the Shenzhou people's hospitality What a kind-hearted person. This is your first match, Luca. You're bound to win. Uh, so much against the Gui. Okay. I will see what will happen. Luca, you're gonna be fine. You're the boxing champion of Bellabog. The Clown Knights. Aren't they just the silver main guards? I'm pretty confident of my odds against them. Except Mr. Jepard. Luca, you're the best. You're not gonna lose. Go get him! Luca, ready for your first match? More or less. I, I think I more or less, maybe, perhaps, I'm ready. Luca, have more confidence in yourself. Okay, the business of the need to display the martial prowess to utmost capacity and earn support of the audience. The two sides will be wives based on how much the audience supports the either side. Complete the designated combat actions and achieve highlights during the matches to gain a massive amount of wipe. Okay. The team gains wipes, the opponent's side wipes get lowered, and the opponent's actually will also raise their wipes while lowering the team's wipes. I have a participant wipes, which is the maximum the match will enter the super hype state. Uh, participants will earn the audience support will gain powerful buffs to win the match. Interesting. Hex Chief highlight during the matches to accumulate wipes and this will stay. Break wound, enemy's weakness. Okay. Jet by honor 10 to 200%. Break wound 10 to 10. Okay. And I can change my head up my party. Alright. Oh! Special. Two corners of this match, we have the Lil Fools Cloud Knights, Lil Gwen Support Association. What kind of name is this? <laughs> <laughs> and representing the city of Bellabo, Luca Stronga. Between these two groups of contenders, who will emerge victorious? We wait with bated breath. 
Come at us, Mr. Luca. My team will show you the prowess of the Cloud Knight's formation. Simple. You just gotta stand at the byline and give your team tactical instructions. Hmm. Of course, being a spectator is the easiest. Well, Gwei's up there in the stands right now, watching us duke it out from her vantage point. Oh, she's such a baddie. <laughs> Hear that, everyone? Lil Gwei is someone in the audience watching us. Brothers, we mustn't disappoint our Lil Gwei! Woohoo! For Lil Gwei, we will emerge victorious! I mean, I know that uh, that Gnaive and Uzusheng are good friends, but <laughs> Uzusheng having to contend with all like these Gnaive and obsessed Cloud Knights. If I lose, those people dear to me will be disappointed too. Looks like we have to give it our all. Ooh, if the Cloud Knights fail, Little Grey will be disappointed. If the Cloud Knights win, our friends from Bellabog will be disappointed. <laughs> No matter the ending, this apartment inevitably awaits one party. <laughs> oh, welcome to the cruel world of competition. For Lil Gwei, form up! Let me remind you, on the war dance stage, the atmosphere of the spectators is very important. Show off your flashy moves and make the audience cheer for you. Our attack section, the team's vibes are increased. Do we still have the upper hand? Uh, sure. <gasps> Don't get cocky. Brothers and sisters, it's time for us to show off our stuff. I'm using the energy. Yeah, okay. An opponent will have sweat taking an extra increase. Pretty good time to be struck. Bring the land a counter. What is Luca going to do? No. Luca deflects the cloud knight's attack and turns. Then I love that. Data secure. Net markers activated. Time for a good old counter attack. <gasps> Unscathed. Small fry. <laughs> we will come. The opponent strikes again. How will Luca react? Or rock with it. <laughs> Suppress. Bam. <laughs> Mincing support. <laughs> the punches decide. Enemy data signet markers activated. Time for a good old counter attack. Step out of it. Brothers and sisters. Everyone is this. Why is there a fragmentum creation? Am I hallucinating? Uh, good question. I don't know. Enemy data secured. Net markers activated. Time for a good old counter attack. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it or rock with it. Where's the applause? Let's see some sparks fly. <laughs> Songs for you. Keep up. <laughs> Nap time. <gasps> Hillary, <a> time. Luca <laughs> isn't able to deflect the cloud at the back. Then down once again. The opponent is not leaving any opening for Luca. <laughs> Pretty good crowd today. Turn it up! Time for a shot. Ready to lose your You can fight it or rock with it! Enemy data and net markers activated. Time for a good old counter attack! It's kind of hard to get ahead of some other pipe. Let's steal the winning blow! Don't give him another chance! Remember this moment. 
Looks like Little Blade Support Association is ready to end this match once and for all. No. How can it... Hey, coach! Luca's been knocked... Then should I go up there myself and defeat you guys for him? Ugh, <laughs> of course not. Come, let me show you how it's done. You was taking a codex to look at doing a match and none of it was offensive. Definitely. We fix this after using ultimate direction transform. Okay. Cry. Enemy data secured. Netmark is activated. Time for a good old counter attack. <laughs> Justin, just a little something. Think nothing of it. Keep patching me up. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it. Or rock with it. Where's the applause? Let's see some sparks fly. <laughs> Time for the main event. Keep up. Naughty child. Nap time. Enemy targets detected. <gasps> Commencing support. <laughs> Enemy data's net markers activated. Time for a good old counter attack. Some sparks fly. Finally, and the winner is Luca Strongon. Who would have thought a rookie challenger like Luca would win? But how much further will he make it? Day two. <laughs> What is happening to me? <laughs> I feel a little strange. I just saw those cloud knights grow fangs and claws like they were demons. Hey, show a little sportsmanship. You've already won, so what's with the insults? Sorry, I didn't mean it that way. I just feel like everything I'm seeing is a hallucination. Are you too stressed out? When I was younger, every time before the day of exams, it also seemed like my textbooks grew fangs and talons, as if they were demons. <laughs> uh, your situation <laughs> is right. clearly different. If you're too stressed out, how about a bottle of Sweet Dream Soda? This is the CN Joe version of Soul Glad, and it helps you sleep better too. Grab some Sweet Dream Soda. A sweetness that's bound to last. <laughs> wow. Yeah, what's up to stuff for that place? Huh? I was in charge of outsourcing Soulglad's ads during my sixth internship period. <sighs> Some of it might have turned into a mechanical reflex. Poor you. I feel much better. I'm very sorry if I said anything rude just now. I really think those cloud knights are a uh, cut above the rest. Uh, excessive compliments can seem disingenuous if overdone, pal. We're just your typical rank and file. In terms of martial prowess, the average cloud knight appears to match even the most elite Silvermane squads. Uh, your praise is making me all confused now. Wait, could it? Be that we're actually pretty strong. <laughs> Maybe those Someone. cloud knights said they were just ordinary soldiers. They were tough as heck, and yet they're just the Lofu's most ordinary fighters. <laughs> the Arillo Six has been isolated from the cosmos for so long that I'm clueless about things everyone else takes for granted. Forget strength. 
Even the gap in everyday knowledge isn't something I can get past overnight. But no matter how wide that gap is, I must wield my fists. I must fight and I must win. Uh, right now, Lady Bronya, Master Oleg, and Zila, all the people who stayed in Bellabog are working day and night to keep it up and running. Mr. Jepard placed his faith in me, entrusted me with the chance to represent Bellabog. I cannot disappoint him, any of them. I must offer nothing less than victory. So, I would like to officially ask you to be my coach. All right. Because you're strong, and you know plenty of strong people. When you were pretending to be my coach in the last match, you were a great help. I want to bridge the gap between myself and this world. Trailblazer, will you help me? Mm, <laughs> don't blame me Thank if you, you lose. Coach. I'll do my best to keep up and train seriously. Why is she crying now? Such a burning friendship. Don't, don't do this to me, guys. My, my camera. It's getting wet. And the shot. It's getting blurry. <laughs> Luca, I'll do everything I can to assist you. You'll both become the most legendary coach and fighter team there is. And I'll create a special feature that will finally bag me that permanent role. Oh, man. Miss Carmella, why is your dream making me tear up, too? Uh, uh, enough about me. I'll brief you on the rules for the next match first. Kengar not... What's that a reference to? I was hot on the front lines as I was tempted to train behind the scenes mastermind. Okay, not sure what the reference is to, what's the reference to, but okay. I think it. All the contents and launches have been out with, outfitted with such tactic boards, okay. Uh, I used to... This is a sketchy chart for the wardens. The final stage of the tournament is doing master arena. I take out my lieutenant Yen Shin. I have to feed the first each arena. Topaz! I turn with Topaz, I need to earn enough points from the knockout matches. Okay. Up to knockout match points. Okay. These are not much of Okay. Next contest look should choose a decide opponent. I mean, you have to fight both either way or that, don't we? Defeat enemies to gain a massive amount of vibes. Uh, enemy summons continuously refresh as well as summons will attack enemies. As follow up attack damage increases. Ooh, okay, follow up party. Oh, and uh, I thought don't have to use them. Oh. Well, follow up party. <laughs> I'm gonna, definitely gonna use Fraysha. I think I'm just gonna stick with the one I've been using it right on. Tactical decision. Uh, okay, Jesus, uh, okay. I'm gonna early reveal a significant effect period after every attack. Attack all enemies that have been. 
Started debuff from the hmm. Okay. I will just skip the, the talk for like these minor fights. Five seconds. Never hesitate. I won't do. Watch your head. Market of unpriced. Investing in victory means playing the long game. Punishment. The art of my heart's content. We've entered the storm. To guard and defend, crush them. I venture forth to hunt. Forever. Triumphant. I should do some direct damage to. Fangs and claws got dull. The fearless knows not fear. Evaluation begin. Go Nappy! This battle is unavoidable. Lend me your strength. Never hesitate! Too slow. Head your bets. Uh huh? I feel like this party is not working so well. Yeah, I want to change my lineup and restart the challenge. I mean, face shower is working, but I can't really um, break weakness well. I like this. Look, a VIP. Relax. Patience is my middle name. Just was checking something. Uh, I always deliver. Skip to the show. The fearless knows not fear. I won't do. Time to twirl. No. Time to twirl. I venture forth to hunt. Forever. Triumphant. Victory is inevitable. Yeah, that's actually doing some AOE damage. Bending the rule. There 
There's no backing up now. For me or you. Forever. Triumphant! Oh wait, where's the auto battling? Self-inflicted misery. Time to twirl! Show me what you can do. I'll give you five seconds. The fearless knows not fear. No! Time to twirl! Slow. Do you know who I am? This big diamond! It's all yours! Very okay, working, okay, but well. Give an inch and they'll take a mile. <laughs> sure, I'll play along. Ah. Uh, Fangs and claws got dull. The dice have been bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Watch your head. I venture forth, Tom. Forever. Triumphant! <laughs> Who's the little backstabber? Time to kill! Never hesitate! No! Time to twirl! I hit the mark. Give you five seconds. The fearless knows not fear. I won't do it. Time to twirl. I venture forth to hunt forever. Triumphant. Bam, 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 bam. Victory bam. is inevitable. Down. Uh, I'm actually not even making use of uh -huh. cheers, but all right. I always deliver. Fangs and claws got dull. Never hesitate! No! Time to the max. High, super high. Bonus. Maybe I'll take it off. Watch your head. Time to twirl. Do you know who I am? This big diamond. It's all yours. Bam. We have a deal. There's no backing out now. For me or you. Time to twirl. Oh dear. I venture forth to hunt forever. Triumphant. <laughs> And down it is. Squid. I guess we're gonna do the next show. We're gonna go all the way up to, to Topaz and then I will see. Um, Entity for today, I think.
Uh, counter enemy attacks. Interesting. Who actually has counters? I mean, this literally requires Yun Lee. Uh, Yun, yeah, Yun Lee and Clara. Sure, fair enough. I think because. Mm. Wait. Uh, ice and quantum. Okay. Mm hmm. I have an ice or quantum heat, alright. Uh, I mean, a build, one build, I know that Lynx is a quantum leader. But I haven't built her. <laughs> mm, then let's just go with you. Countering a lot. I want to protect everyone. Help me, Mr. Sora. Here stands the Silvermane God. I can't do this. Forward. Get them. I'll go easy this time. What are you made of? I mean, I don't care if you're getting caught up by them, I just want it back. Stay back, Clara. Just give it up. I want to protect everyone. Help me, Mr. Sora. Okay, that was really easy.
Let's see if we can go off the top of us. After fighting in so many knockout stages, I think our points should be enough. Time to head to the Sky Splitter's leaderboard to confirm her ranking. Can I actually get down from here though? Or wanna like the the weekly fi boss fight? What's so interesting about all of this violence? Oh, free stuff. Sweet. Is there anything interesting? Recipes, sure, I take it. What do you say? Enemy scandal. Okay. Ah. Oh. Looks like I've got enough points. How about it, coach? Let's get ready to challenge some powerful opponents. Okay. Time to get fired up. Let's head back to the lounge. have gone by in the blink of an eye have you gotten used to the situation luca <laughs> yes uh yes uh, i have but the hallucinations are getting stronger could there actually be something wrong with me can culture shock really cause such strong hallucinations <laughs> it's possible there was a scholar from the Intelligentsia Guild who wished for an audience with the erudition, no matter the cost. But he went mad the instant he laid eyes on Noose. Ooh, the minds of organic life forms are very fragile. Uh, you're starting to scare me now. <sighs> Good thing I've got plenty of youth left to burn. I can't falter now. The next match is gonna be crucial. My opponent is... Uh, I guess you can call her an old acquaintance. Kind of, yeah. Never met her in the flesh, but when Bellabug wouldn't know of her. Oh, Miss Topaz is the cutest among the ten stone hearts. Oh, I like her. <laughs> no offense, Miss Carmella, but I'm not keen on the IPC. They nearly turned my home into an asset that could be bundled and sold. <sighs> Mr. Luca, the IPC is a megacorp. It's easy to pin labels on people, but at the end of it, everyone we meet is living flesh and bones with feelings. I I'm also an IPC staff member. Do you hate me too? You're not a flesh and bones though. <sighs> I spoke out of turn. Please forgive my rudeness, Miss Carmella. You're right. You're right. I should find out what kind of person Topaz is for myself. 
I mean, you're just standing right in front of you. <laughs> Topaz, the IPC's participating representative. Honestly, I don't really hate her. I heard she was the one who granted the time extension. Maybe she's not so bad after all. She is all right. But I have a certain instinctive wariness of those bigwigs from the IPC. No, I can't let that fear control me. If she's my opponent. Let her witness our strength. I can't lose to her. Luca, are you ready to fight? Of course we are ready. Why are I'm you ready. asking? <laughs> I'm also ready to record some footage. Um, inflict weakness, break, or defeat enemies. Okay. Uh, performance point receive again. There's a lot of higher characters. Wait, weakness, break, or defeat enemies? To see. Why is it? Why is it giving me in the why is it recommending me in the Hillary team for this? I mean yeah they have these weaknesses, but uh Hmm. Yeah, but we do want AOE. True, we do want AOE. <sighs> yeah, then it's an agility based party. Uh, yeah, come on, let's do it like this. in the ring two competitors with a deep-seated rivalry the atmosphere is already charged with tension before the first punch has even been thrown you can feel the fireworks are about to explode in the blue corner representing team bellabog luca stronger in the red corner it's the liquidation specialist of the inner astral peace corporation topaz the debt retriever who would have thought the people of Eurillo 6 would start making waves in the cosmos? It's a pleasure to see you here at the war dance. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to this match too, Miss Topaz. This is a great opportunity for us to showcase our Bellabogian pride to you. This is a momentous event that only happens once every few Amber Eras. The IPC regards the Sanjo Alliance as a close friend. Of course we have to attend. I hear your team Bellabog's coach, which really surprised me. The Astral Express helped mediate Bellabog's debt previously, and now you're assisting them in the war dance. <laughs> when a child is growing up, they need to learn to find their own footing in the world. Well, Bellabogians have always lived under difficult conditions. We children already knew our path forward long ago. 
A lofty proclamation. I harbor no ill will towards Bellabog. I merely wish to see if, uh, after evading that debt crisis, the people of Bellabog can truly stand on their own. If we rely too much on the charity of major influences to help us overcome hardships, they will never truly become free, but rather remain a servant under the illusion of freedom. The people of Bellabog have never been servants! I apologize. Just speaking my mind. It uh, appears I've ruffled some feathers. Time to get on the stage, Luca of Bellabog. You said it. Let's go! We may Let's not some follow how the old swords might, but that doesn't mean we'll go easy on you. <sighs> Those who can knock down Luca, I'll be sure to give you an excellent score in your performance evaluation. Let's roll, people, for our performance evaluation! Mind your mouth. It's on the defensive. We do. I'm honored by your presence. Since you're already here, why not have a meal before the I weep for the departed. It did so far. Luca has turned the taste. <laughs> Legendary. Huh? On the still waters of oblivion. Should be going well. <laughs> Stay put! Get there! Ill tidings manifest. Clear. <laughs> Memories are beneath the waters lies an endless abyss! Lord is coming in hot! Take in there, Luca! Again. Uh, <laughs> we were fine. I'm honored by since you're, you're already here. Why not have a meal before you? everyone is screaming for loot? I weep for the heart. <laughs> it too shall fall. <laughs> Memories are ever a lot of damage. Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. I'm honored by it. since you're already here. Why not have a meal before you leave? Fiends or devils, I'll crush them all. Don't worry, it's just a scorpion for oblivion. Easy. Your subordinate forces have almost been whittled down. Looks like Topaz is preparing to take to the field herself. Not like I have a choice. If you want something done properly, do it yourself. Uh, Madam Kukulia? Huh? What did you just call me? Uh, it appears Luca is dazed all of a sudden. No, it's nothing. Come at me, Miss Topaz. Hallucinations are getting worse. Looks like it's time to get serious. Tremble before my power. And again. Oh, immediately getting. I weep for the departed. Background stuff of already doing anything. <sighs> it too shall fall. You are doomed to fail. Mind your manners. Still waters of a <laughs> Destiny isn't chosen. <laughs> I'm honored by your presence. Okay. Since you're already here. You know. Why not have a meal before you leave? I weep for the departed. 
Corona is doing is hard. Lies an endless abyss. Jesus. I'm honored. Since you're already here, why not have a meal before you leave? Fiends or devils. I'll crush them all. That's half the work. Destined for oblivion. It's better to make no move. <laughs> I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Making sure to save this. Yeah. <laughs> you fight well, Mr. Luca, but it's time to end this game of playing house. The opponent has stepped up their offense. They are probably trying to end it quickly so they can get off worker. This will be Thank you for your generosity. Again. What do you want to know? Uh... Ill fate to say. <laughs> Apologies, but it looks like this match that should have been yours will end here. Judgment of eternal winter! Yes. Strong. She wasn't even using her full power just now. Luca has been completely cornered by Topaz. Will he be able to turn the tide on his precarious predicament? We have to see you once I unfreeze. But I'm not unfreezing. Luca, get it together. Throw a punch. Moving, Luca. The boxing champ of Boulder Town can't fall here. Finally. Mm. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Memories of beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. I'm honored. Since you're already here, why not have a meal before you leave? <laughs> Don't come any Fiends or devils, I'll crush them all. I weep for the departed. <laughs> it too shall fall. Waters of oblivion. How about letting the enemies return? A little more shit. I weep for the departed. Jesus. I'm getting so many units right now. I'm honored, but since you're already here, why not have a meal before you leave? I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Memories are beneath the waters, lies an endless abyss. Fiends or devils, I'll crush them all. That's half the work. Destined for oblivion. Uh? 
Okay, she should be down now. I weep for the departed. Bam, bam, bam. Bye bye. And the winner is Luca Strongarm. Team Bellabog has grew with its superiority and defended its honor. What a roller coaster of emotions. <sighs> Unbelievable. Isn't that Snowy Owl an IPC employee? Why is he getting so sentimental? <sighs> Luca, you fought well. Victory is yours. <laughs> you pulled your punches, Miss Topaz. <sighs> Do you think so little of me? Um, you're mistaken. For the Ten Stone Hearts, going all out is something we only do in life and death situations. This is nothing but a casual spar. Best that everyone emerges unscathed without a scratch. We don't want the IPC's protective gear sales to take a hit now. Thank you for the photo, Pesaphon. You took the win. Have more faith in yourself. This was a hard-earned victory. And with all due respect, it was you who <laughs> underestimated me, right? Oh. <laughs> of course not. I wouldn't dare look down on one of the IPC's legendary employees. <laughs> you peg everyone with an IPC job title as one of their lapdogs. You think we've sold our souls and become servants for profit. Don't deny that. I know that look all too well. The IPC doesn't need bleeding intangible goods like souls. They only want profit. My home and Bellabog aren't so different. We are all struggling to eke out an existence in this merciless universe, hell-bent on living long enough to touch happiness. And the messengers of the Amber Lord gave me that chance. Just as I, on behalf of the IPC, am giving you that exact same chance. So, you understand now? We have much much more in common than you think, Luca. I hope that Bella Bug can find the strength within to lift itself up. Now, you've left your city in hopes of getting the cosmos to notice you, and that's certainly admirable. But in this cosmos full of selfishness and malice, are you truly prepared to face even greater crises? Whether you are or not, I wish you the best of luck. <sighs> keep it up, and keep winning matches. I've had my fill, so I should be leaving. I have a lot of negotiations to attend to back on the Lofu. Miss Topaz, wait. Hmm? <sighs> it wasn't my intent to look down on you. I believe anyone striving to survive is truly... Remarkable. <laughs> Don't take it to heart. Isn't it a tradition to trash talk each other before a match starts? That was this cool. Okay, I'm fixing the coach, I'm fixing the sense of you. Why are you doing an interview with Gniven now? Yeah, he's kind of response is pretty. Not big, that's the proper answer for this.
Oh yeah, maybe I skip through most of that shit. Um, so yeah. Both of sports illustrated. Ah, Wrench of the Rural Boy, 10 Stone Hearts knocked out in surprise loss. Contestant Luca maintained his frontal assault throughout the first half of the match. However, all of his punches were easily deflected by contestant Topaz. The shift happened in the second half of a coach number set up a new strategy. Contestant Luca changed the tactics behind his attacks and went for a more coordinated style, trying to win through rubber attacks. At the end, contestant Luca scored more rubber points and won by points. Why? I'm pressing B. Oh, well, it wants me to scroll more. I don't know if take the key to weak to me. Come into the... We must be buying coaching stuff for the first time. Over doping allegations. Okay. With that, I think I will end it here for today now. We've done quite a bit. And I'm happy with what we've done. And we will catching we'll be catching up on the rest. On another time. Oh. Can I actually get a new Uh, 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 uh. This one's almost done. Do I just want to finish it? I can't feel much. Just finish that one up. Uh, the, the palette cons. There you go. Yeah, I can have it. Yeah, unlock recipes. Mine's bare sparkling plate. <laughs> <It's the> re <laughs> nice. <laughs> I like the design of it. All right. We're putting it, it here. I will do my daily grind after, but I'm actually gonna be cooking dinner first. <laughs> I heard to do it okay why I'm doing my dinner. So do we have someone online we can raid? Uh, I haven't raided for you in a while, so we can go for her. Uh, I should just have to get onto my uh, uh, onto my church page. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Da -da 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 -da. Why is it hidden in so many menus? I don't know what it's this right channel. Following. There you go. Start raid. And with that. You know the spray. You know the usual spear. Have you enjoyed it? We, I hope I will see you each other next time. Support as well as feedback, I would appreciate it. So feel free to share. Other than that, we could end the raid. We already know Yuma. So, yeah. You know that she's German though. So be aware of that. And other than that, be nice. And we will see each other next time. Until then, bye bye.